Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. Today's the last episode in our series of six for our trip to BSR Surf Resort. Now we've covered the boards and the fins, and the last thing we wanna talk about is traction and all the products we took for testing. I think you guys will like this, enjoy. Now that we've covered boards, I wanna talk quickly about traction. So all the traction had good tack. I didn't slip or feel like I was gonna slip on any of the pads that I used but some did feel better underfoot than others. So the one that I connected best with was the simple one that I, put, that I had on the Slater Design no-brainer. Since I gave that board away, these are the two pads that I had on there. This is the Tyler Warren, and I like that it has kind of like this kind of cutout. It really fits that swallowtail. It's soft, it's not super abrasive, but it's got good traction and I didn't wear off any of the knobbies. I'm really tough on traction. So that really helps. And then the front foot traction was really smooth. It's got it running this way with traction, and I liked it on, on the front foot, um, on both my belly and underfoot. So that was my favorite traction. And then I also liked the traction on the creatures. Now, I, I wish the arch was a little higher, but it felt great. And then if I were gonna put another front foot traction that goes good with that, that's got that smooth texture, it would be this one here that I had on the Happy. Now, what's, what's interesting about that traction right there is it had good traction, but when I first put it down, I don't know if it's because the board had pressure dents already, but I got air bubbles under it, under it. So I peeled it off and put it back down again, trying to get those air bubbles off and I couldn't get it. So that kind of hindered me from picking that pad again. Now moving over to the Uber XL and the Astro Pop, this traction was a little bit more abrasive. So if I grab the Lost Pad here, I really like this back foot traction pad. It has the knobbies. And what I like about it is I don't wear them off. And this traction, I've been using a bunch on a, a bunch of boards. This feels good. Front foot, a little bit much for me on the knobbies, but still felt pretty good out there. If I had to take this board again, would I use the same pad? Probably not, but the traction was good. It was just a little rough for me. Let's look at the Prolite. I like this particular pad here. It's got a nice high arch, and that suits my back foot real well. And the knobbies, it's, it's a really light pad, but it's really um, aggressive, right? Good traction. But when I have it here under my front foot, it's got the tack and the traction, but I, it's too much for me. I can feel the traction knobbies when I lay on it, and I also feel like I can't move my front foot around as much as I'd like to. So with the Astro Pop, I did take this surfing in the ocean since I've been back, and I'm gonna have to rip this pad off for me to surf this board a little bit better, because it is um, a little bit harder for me to surf with this front foot traction. So all this front foot traction pad that we've been talking, with the MR and the Aquila Ipa, I used base coat, and if I go back in October, I'm not sure I'll use any front foot traction because the wax felt great. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the other stuff I was testing. We'll start with the board bags, right? We'll look at this CI. Now this is a double. Both bags did their job. They got the boards there and back with no damage from the airline. We flew American with three boards per bag. Our bag fee was 35 bucks per bag right? As long as it's under 50 pounds. And I thought that was a great deal. And American did a great job taking care of our boards. Now, when I, I when we talk about this CI bag, just opening it up, I really like it. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it did its job. You have one divider be between the two boards that you're supposed to put two in here. And I thought it was great. It also came with the shoulder strap. So it made it easier to carry the bag. And the reason I mention that is because the creatures didn't come with one of those. But I really like this bag, it worked good. So let's open this one up because what I think creatures is doing inside this bag is what kind of separates it from the CI bag is it has, this is a triple, it's 6.3 and it has the two dividers. But what I like that's different about this bag is it has straps. So after I put two or three boards in there, I can strap them on the inside and it keeps the boards from moving around. I was concerned that I only put two on the CI coming back, 
because we gave one of the boards away at BSR that it would kind of move around and the board would get damaged and it didn't. So the CI did a great job coming back. If I was going on a long trip, I would definitely prefer a bag like the Creatures because I want to cinch those boards down and really keep them from moving. And then it also has that clip down here at the bottom so you can tighten that up too. Now, it didn't come with a shoulder strap and it could be that it just didn't come in this one, but I think a shoulder strap, shoulder strap is key when you're carrying all your luggage to put it on your shoulder instead of carrying it in your hand. Now, since we did board bags, let's move right into the backpacks. So FCS bag, what I liked about this particular bag is it's got a lot of different pockets. It really has a nice place for my computer, closest to my back, and then it's easy access, easy to get into everything. It's not a ton of space, but it, it really suits what I needed. And that's just something to carry my computer, my external hard drive. And I feel like this is a great backpack for day-to-day -day usage. Now, if we look at the Passport by Futures, completely different construction. It's got a different weight to it. The FCS one's a lot lighter. This one feels like it's gonna be a bit more durable, almost like some kind of canvas or denim material. So it's a little bit more substantial, right? And it's wider and it's bigger. And one of the things that I like about that is that I can put a lot more stuff in here. I had all my clothes and my fins in here and there was so many sets of fins that TSA stopped me and wanted to know what was inside because they didn't know what those were. But one of the things that I felt was problematic about the passport is when TSA asked me to open the bag, it wasn't easy to get it open because it has this kind of a hook latch right here, right? So you hook it in and once it's hooked in there, it's, 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 it's cinched and you can move it all the way up to here so you can fit more stuff in the bag. But getting into my bag quickly was a problem. Now there are solutions to that problem because you can come in through, excuse me, the side over here and get to everything right in the side. So I didn't know that. But what I liked about this particular bag, this wouldn't be a bag I'd probably use on a day-to-day -day basis because it's a little bit bigger. It's got a little bit more weight to it, but this bag's gonna last a lot longer and this would be a bag that I would take on long trips. So the other thing I wanted to talk about were the trunks I was testing. So in the water, I wore trunks and a t-shirt. And I started with the Hurley Phantom trunks. And what I really like about these is that the elastic waistband, when these are untied, it's consistent. There's no Velcro, it doesn't open. They just sit right where they're supposed to sit. So if this comes untied, I don't have to worry about my trunks coming off or getting loose I cinched them with tying it, but they were on and they felt great. Now these are 18 inches long, and so they're a little bit shorter, but I like that because I have more freedom and these have great flexibility and stretch. Compared to the outer knowns, excuse me, the outer knowns feel like they're about 20 inches long because they come down closer to my knees. They were extremely flexible and the waistband was nice and thin but it has this Velcro, little tiny Velcro latch, but you see how it does that? This trunk won't do that. And when I got pounded on the bottom at BSR, it did open and I had to retie it. And at, for, at some point I felt like, are my trunks still on me because they were so loose? But very, very comfortable, both trunks. And if we're comparing elasticity, which ones have more stretch? I would say the Hurley Phantoms, probably twice as flexible as the Outer Knowns. Now, as we get into what I wore on the top, the XL Threadex shirt that I'm wearing right now, super soft, size medium. This is the two shirts that I wore the bulk of the time. And these are my favorite shirts to surf in. And I tried the, the Billabong um, surf shirt, which feels a little bit more like a rash guard. It's heavier and a little bit more substantial, but I felt like I didn't need that kind of thickness. And I like the way a t-shirt hangs better. So a few things to close it out that I think were very important for me and must-haves. If you're an FCS2 guy and you're doing fin changes at BSR, even on the ocean, you guys are always asking me, what tool is that? Fin puller helped me with the Paisal Astropop, change of fins quick from thruster to quad, and also on the California Twin. So I love this tool. I take it with me every time I go surf when I have FCS2 plugs.
Now, Creature sent me the super light leash. Um, I don't know that it's super light, but I'll tell you that what goes around my ankle is extremely comfortable and it's very maneuverable. So it's, it's comfortable around my ankle and I feel like this is lighter than what most of them come with. Um, with it being a six foot leash, I wouldn't mind seeing it in five and a half. And we could even go a little bit thinner, but this leash is probably my favorite leash right now. And the last thing was two of the boards got damaged on the trip and we did need some solar res with that helped the EPS. So I needed epoxy resin solar res to fix those boards to keep me in the water and tr transitioning from board to board. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our vlog series and our trip to BSR Surf Resort in Waco, Texas. Special shout out thanks to each of the board makers and all the companies that sent stuff for us to test in our trip. Now each of these boards will have their own review and those will be dropping soon. Until next time, we'll see you guys in the water. Bye-bye.